These TVs are tall, flat and heavy and uh, inherently unstable. There was so much blood. We've had a couple of deaths from head injuries from, uh, from falling TVs and some fractures. Since coming to market, large flat screen TVs have kept paediatricians like Randwick Children's Hospital's Angus Gray very busy. What toddlers particularly do is use these as climbing surfaces and climb up the TV and hang onto the top frame of it and pull it towards them. 42 inch plasma screen weighs 30 kilos or more and the bigger screens, which aren't all that uncommon, can be upwards of 50 kilos and that is a, that's a, that's a deadly weight in some situations. I just sank. My heart just, I don't know, it just, it, it's hard to explain, it was just total devastation. Kelly Webber owns an older, more stable television, but it didn't stop her five-year-old Levi from pulling it over and nearly killing himself. Then I pulled my fingers up and the TV came down and I just went straight flat. The injuries sustained by Levi were terrible. He fractured the growth plate in his head, he snapped it off completely. He split the top of his eye and he's broken from just under his eye socket here all the way down to his jaw. It's all broken in there. Did you cry or were you just too strong? I was crying. Today, Levi, a talented soccer player, still has some lingering vision problems, but he's back to being his bubbly self as he proudly shows me his x-rays. In fact, I can see the fracture all the way down your eye socket there and then down your teeth. Gee, you're very lucky, aren't you? You can see a little crack. It's a tough education, but one Levi, now six, will never forget. Don't ever climb up a TV if you've got a really heavy one. <laughs> but if it's a light one? Yeah, still don't. Yeah, probably not the best idea. But kids will be kids, and therefore, parents will always need to understand the dangers in the home from a child's perspective. This is a child's eye view of a kitchen bench with an oven and look how exciting it looks and uh, that's a lovely colour. There's interesting objects right up high. They're going to try and climb up, they're going to try and reach. Brisbane's KidSafe CEO, Susan Tierds, offers solutions for parents trying to kid-proof their home. You put it at the very back of the cabinet, away from the front, you can attach it to the wall or you can attach it to the back of the cabinet. Televisions are the most common furniture-related injury in the home, followed by cabinets, cupboards and chest of drawers. Lucky. We're one of the lucky ones. There are people out there um, that I know that weren't so lucky, that did lose a child in similar kind of circumstances. If Levi's story can save somebody's life, um, can make people think about the safety in their own home and, and change the way that they do things, then um, we'll feel that we've done um, a good job.